Thank you for visiting the channel and welcome back if you're a repeat visitor. I know it's been a short while since I have posted. I've been recovering from some knee surgery, so that's taken me out. Anyway, in that absence, uh, I haven't been idle. So I really like gym timers. You know, those ones on the gym wall, they're super visible, uh, but they are pretty expensive. So I decided I was going to create an Android app to produce one. I'm sharing that with you guys. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, don't use it. So uh, I've started the application here, and this is the home screen. We see timer, clock, favorites, workouts, timer, about. This is a gym timer. So it can count up like a stopwatch. It can count down like your timer. It has a clock which says 12 or 24 hours. You can create multiple timers, as we see here in the screen. Here are a bunch of default timers. And timers can be connected together to form workouts. And uh, we have a number of predefined workouts. And we'll look at an example here of HIIT Sprint. An HIIT Sprint is made of three activities, warm-up activity, exercise activity, and cool down. Each of those activities have their own timer. So warm-up has a three-minute countdown timer. So you warm up for three minutes. Cool down has a two-minute 30 countdown timer. So you cool down for two and a half minutes. Exercise, however, is made up of two timers that iterate for eight rounds. So a 30-second countdown for the exercise itself, a one-minute 30 countdown for the recovery or rest period, active recovery period, and it'll loop through that eight times. And we'll see some of those later. There are also a series of shortcuts along the bottom home. We'll bring you to this screen. Timer will take you to your active timer favorites. The clock will take you to the 24-hour clock, and settings, which is where we're going to start, configure settings for the entire system. So prevent sleep and keep running are very closely related. Prevent sleep stops timers from being put into the background and stopping when you leave this application. Keep running is like a subset of that. It prevents a timer from stopping when you leave the timer screen itself. So if I went from the timer screen to the home screen, having keep running on would keep that timer running. If I left the application and went to Spotify to start some music, for example, Prevent Sleep would keep those timers running. Ona is used in some of the timers to personalize the text field, and the volume is the gain control for any audio that we output. So let's start by looking at the clock. And when I click clock, what we're going to see here is our clock screen, and I'm in portrait right now. Uh, that's because it's going to be easier to show the uh, the menus in portrait. But typically, I'm rotating this now over to landscape. Typically, when you run the timer itself, you'll have it in, in, in the landscape mode. And in landscape mode and in portrait mode, we modify the digit sizing so that it occupies as much screen real estate as possible for the digits. Uh, without causing any distortion. I'm just going to rotate this back to, there we go, back to portrait. Uh, we have, has a few elements. The, the blue text right now we call the lap or the info text, given us AM or PM designation. The digits themselves, those are red in this case, and then the text, which in this case is yellow and appears above and below. So if I go into settings here, for a clock we are able to change the color of the digits, we can, you know, like for example, we can have the digits in yellow and we can have the text in white. In fact, we can have our info in green. And if I save that, you'll see that those colors have instantly changed. I can change the clock from being 12 hour to being 24 hour. And I'm also gonna turn on three segments. What you see now is the AM, PM change to CL, so clock. That's what indicates we're at a 12-hour clock. And we also have the small seconds counter on the right-hand side. Okay, so that, that's really, that's the clock. It's, it's a clock, AM, PM, 12, 24 hours, and the date is in the text below the clock. Let's go back home, and we're going to go into timers. Now, if I click timer, will go directly into the what we call the ad hoc or the default timer. The default timer, if we go into timers, we see one here called default and it's that timer. Well, we're gonna work for, from this view here. Uh, so let's go and pick our 
10 second countdown timer. Now, if I, if I just press the, uh, the text, then it's gonna load that timer. I don't wanna do that in this case. I wanna go to the edit, so I click the pencil marker, and I'm gonna now edit the, uh, this timer here. If I come out of here, and I should this time load it, it takes me to the timer screen itself. Now I can still edit that configuration here by clicking settings, okay? So we have uh, a fairly familiar menu system here, but there are some differences from what we saw from a clock. So now we have firstly a type. Our timers can be count up or count down. In this case, this is a countdown timer, but I could easily change that to a count up timer. Start and end time configure, surprisingly, the start and the end time. So for a countdown timer, you're typically ending at zero, but you don't have to. You can have one timer that goes from five minutes down to three minutes, another timer that goes from three minutes down to two minutes, and so on and so forth, and connect those together if you want to in a workout. It's totally up to you. Uh, similarly, for a count up timer, you're often starting at zero, but again, you don't have to. End times with count up uh, can be a specific number, or can be zero, which means just count up until you can't count anymore. Okay, so that's start and end time. I say they're, they're um, in relation to the kind of timer count up or count down. End action tells us what to do when we reach our end time. Do we want to stop? Do we want to reset? Or do we want to loop? Now that really only has an effect for the timer itself. It doesn't have any effect when it is in a workout because the workout defines what happens at the end of each cycle. But if we're just running a timer on its own, then if I have it set to loop, then let's say I'm on a countdown, when I hit zero, when it's set to loop, our lap will increment by one. So we'll go from lap one to lap two. Similarly, if we're counting up, when we hit the end time, we'll go from lap one to lap two, lap two to lap three, so on and so forth. The color that uh, operates identically to what we saw in clock. Brightness, let's have a look at that one. You see the br how bright it is there. Uh, I'm just gonna change that. We can see that it's significantly dimmer. So we have control over the brightness as well. Audible notification is similar to end action. When we reach our end time, um, we control whether we stop, reset, or loop. End notify configures where what we will do uh, in terms of an audible notification. So with this enabled, there will be a beep when we reach the end time. Volume controls the gain associated with that. And three segments, once again, uh, gives us three digit segments. Let, let's look at those. I'll close this. Oh, I want to set the brightness back up. I forgot to save that. There we go. There's the brightness set back up. So we see right now our red digits there are um, minutes and seconds, but if I change that to three segments, now we have hours, minutes, and seconds. Now to operate the timer, our, our settings along the bottom, we've got home, which takes you to home. You might just about be able to see reset. It's currently slightly grayed out, it's disabled. Start and settings, we've used settings, you've seen that. I can press start to start the timer, or I can click the digits themselves, and you can see it starts uh, counting. Now, if I press those digits again, it goes into pause mode, and you can see it flashing there. Now, if I start it again, you'll see that reset is unavailable to me. But if I pause again, now reset is available. So you can only reset when uh, a timer is both started and paused. So it's it's begun counting, but you've paused it. Now, when we get down to zero, we hear that audible beep. If I turn that beep off, then you don't get that beep notification. And this will continue through this cycle, counting up those timers. Now, right now I have that timer starting at one. It was previously starting at zero. Uh, I haven't made that a configurable option, but would really love your feedback on how you'd like that to be. Uh, I'm gonna stop that, reset that, and go back home. And let's go back into portrait mode. Now, while I'm in, go back to timers here actually, I'm going to favorite my a few timers. Now, what I do from a timer perspective, I usually have my three minute countdown and a two minute countdown and a one minute 30 countdown favorited. These are because uh, I have about three minutes between my uh, heavy sets uh, in the gym. I have about two minutes between my 
uh, intermediate sets, uh, slightly lower weight, slightly higher volume. And then for my accessories, anywhere between a minute and a minute 30 is what I'm looking at there. So I have a timer for that. Uh, another thing I'll show you in timers actually is you can create your own timer by clicking the plus in the upper right hand side of the screen. And in there now we can configure all the same kinds of things that we saw in the timer themselves. And we can, the difference here though is we can give it a name. So let's have, uh, we'll have a countdown timer that starts at two seconds. And we'll call this um, warm up. There we go. So a two second warm up, so a very intense warm up. And I'm going to favorite that as well. And we want that, I only want that in two segments. So save those changes. And you can see now my warm up has been created. I'm going to create another called exercise. And we'll have that as a five second uh, timer. There you go. And we'll save that as well. Yeah, but we'll make that three segments. So we'll switch from two segments to three segments. So we have X and we have warm up there. All right, now let's go over to our workouts. So as I said earlier, a workout is a way to join those timers together. So we're going to create an example one here. And I want there to be two activities. Now, if, if you've already edited stuff and you want to add an activity or add a timer, uh, try to remember to save. Right now, it doesn't save it between those. Um, I will probably change that. Um, feedback so far from people that have beta tested this have been that it doesn't matter. Others, it mattered a lot too, so it may change. Anyway, um, so let's call this our, our test workout because we're incredibly informative here. And our activity here will be our test warm up. There we go. And our counter, we're going to use our warm up counter. Okay. So for, I'm going to save that and then I'm going to go back and edit it because I'm, I'm still not done. I want to add uh, another timer to the second activity. So that activity is going to be called, um, let's call it run. And that's going to consist of my exercise followed by a 10 second countdown. And I'm going to have three iterations of that. Okay, so the test workout is a, uh, a warm up uh, followed by a run. The run is exercise, rest, exercise, rest, exercise, rest, and then we're done. So I'm going to save that. There we go. Now I'm going to load it and we're going to, uh, and we'll see. Now when you click load, it begins instantly, but let's first favorite that. I'm just going to show you that on favorites. So now we see all our favorites here. So I'm going to load our test workout favorite and it'll begin right away. Three, two, one, begin. Now I'm going to pause it because I, I want to describe the screen and what, and what's going on here. So the screen is relatively familiar. And in fact, let's go into portrait mode or even uh, landscape mode. So the text at the top of the screen defines it, tells us we're in a workout. That workout is called test. We're in uh, activity one of two. As you remember, we had two activities and this is called warm up. The bottom text is specific to the timer. So the top te text is specific to the workout. The bottom is the actual timer we're in. So this, uh, the, the warm up section has only one timer. So we see that timer one of one. Uh, there's only one instance of it. We're only going to iterate through this once and it's called warm up. Now, um, the digits themselves, zero, zero. So this is a, uh, it's a countdown lap timer. So it counts rather than uh, with the timer previously where we saw them counting up for each lap. In a workout, these count down. Um, feel free to comment on that. Happy to, to change it or make it configurable and what number it starts on. Uh, right now it starts on one number below your lap, tells you how many you've got left to go essentially. So right now I have no laps to go after this in the warm up. All right, let's let it go again. Okay, now you, if you recall, if I pause again, we'd set the run activity to be three digit, digits, right? So you see it switched to three digits here. Uh, there were three uh, iterations of the lap time. So I've got two to go after this, hence you see 
uh, the, the the lap counter at two. Um, similarly, the activities have now changed. This is activity two of two, which was called run, and we're in the uh, the first timer here. So let it go. All right, and now we're into our 10 second countdown. And once we get to zero, we'll hear it beep again, but now our lap timer will decrement. There we go, we're back into uh, timer one of two. We only have one lap to go, and we'll actually listen to this to the end. It doesn't take very long, and we'll see that there is an end activity um, audible notification as well, which we're gonna see in uh, 10 seconds from now. Dead air while we wait for it. Three, two, one. Okay, now we know our workout is complete and we're back in our uh, in our workout view. This doesn't take us back to where we came from. It takes us back to workout view. That can also be configured. And if I click home, the only other thing we've got here uh, that you haven't seen so far would be the about page. And the about page just, hey, look, it's a timer. Because three, two, one, does its thing. Then it beeps. If you like it, use it. If you don't like it, then that's okay too. Anyway, thank you for checking out my video. Uh, I hope you enjoy this time. I hope it's helpful to you. Uh, I've used it in, in the kitchen on a rare occasion that I get in there. Uh, I've used it in my gym and uh, I hope that you find some utility out of it as well. Uh, feel free to leave your comments below. Other than that, I will catch you on the flippity flop.